Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another episode of our Planet Zoo franchise mode. Let's play. We're gonna dive right back into Elite Zoo South. There is, as always, and as I always say, as always, a lot to get done. Really excited for today's session. I have uh, quite a few plans for quite a few spaces, but uh, as that statement tends to go, <laughs> and as that sentiment tends to go, I don't know how much will actually get done uh, out of my list of to-dos, so rather than the usual where I kind of say like, yeah, I want to do this, 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 and this, I'm just going to go ahead and dive into the time lapse more or less right off the bat in today's session, and what we get done, we get done. I do have a, like, massive list of things I want to kind of touch on today. There's a couple of different spaces I want to work on and focus on, a couple of things that have been sitting around for uh, some time now, as well as, of course, capping off the enclosure from uh, last time. Now the, the first priority will be capping off the enclosure and then the next priority will be to uh, to do some of the other stuff that I'm kind of thinking about that I've been thinking about. Uh, I've taken a lot of notes down as well from many past episodes. I mean some of these notes are from, from many, many episodes ago that I've had sitting. I've been waiting on the opportunity to kind of like dive back into them. But I'd like to get all that done today and uh, then next session we'll be diving into the addition of a new animal. Exciting times at Elite Zoo South as we get, again, like I was saying, uh, you know, just when we came back from the uh, the mini-series for the Southeast Asia DLC, I kind of want to go just like bam, 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 get like three or four enclosures done, and then maybe we loop back and do a little bit of beautification. What I'm actually hoping is that today's approach, where we focus not just on, uh, on the newly added animal, but also some of the other stuff that, again, you'll be seeing, hopefully, me take care of, uh, maybe that'll allow us to more quickly tackle... Um, more, more quickly deal with uh, uh, the beautification that comes afterwards, right? Rather than having to spend two or three sessions just beautifying, uh, we'll be sort of semi caught up. And so that one beautification pass or hopefully just two beautification passes uh, won't take all that long. Hopefully, what I mean to say is there will only be one, maybe at most two, but it won't be like four episodes of beautification uh, without any animals being added. Or we can find a good kind of uh, pacing, I suppose. Uh, trying to find the exact verbiage to express what I'm saying, but hopefully I'm being clear in what I am saying. Now, this is kind of weird, actually, right off the bat. We have all these cleanliness issues. I don't know why that's the case. Um, I don't know why all of a sudden our staff seem to not be uh, taking care of these spaces. I really hope it's just because we only just booted in or something, or... I'm not sure, though. I mean, Llama Lane has always had some issues, but, uh, but now everything seems to be having issues, and that's problematic. Hopefully calling the keepers over will quickly clean these spaces up. I can definitely see the nastiness. And that's just, I don't know, that's not cool. We gotta we gotta get all that cleaned up ASAP. But anyway, that'll happen after the time lapse because like I said, I am going to dive into the time lapse right off the bat, folks. I just wanna say one thing before we do dive in and that is, of course, I'm sure you know this is coming, but if you've been enjoying the series, if you would like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know. It really makes a massive difference, not just to me personally, just looking at the numbers, getting a quick read on folks' interest levels. But as I've been saying for the last couple sessions as well, we're still kinda in that bumpy phase YouTube's been weird for the last month and a half anyway, and on top of that with the DLC and, and everything I explained earlier a couple of sessions ago, uh, there are still a couple of uh, bumps in this road. A couple of, I don't want to call them roadblocks, that sounds that sounds too aggressive, but a couple bumps, speed bumps, there we go, that's the word I was looking for. Speed bumps, there's a term I haven't used in forever. But either way, if you've been enjoying, I would love it, I would absolutely appreciate it if you leave a like down below. Uh, comment is great as well, but at least a like, it does make a big difference. And again, there's actually quite a few of you, rather surprisingly, who haven't yet subscribed to the channel. Um, if you've been watching Planet Zoo, you've been having a good time, consider subscribing. I understand folks have reasons for not subscribing to a channel, but if that doesn't apply to you, and if you are, you know, willing to subscribe, then that'd be great as well for the channel. Uh, and uh, just uh, a good way to stay sort of up to date and, and keep up with all the games we play over here. Uh, on which note, one last thing, sorry to distract myself with. Uh, I've seen a lot of requests for prehistoric kingdom and, uh, or prehistoric kingdoms. I keep forgetting if it's a plural or not. Uh, fear not, that game is on my radar. It's very much on my radar. I'm a huge fan of not just dinosaurs, but all, uh, all you know, prehistoric animals, for lack of a better term. So I am very much uh, looking to cover that on the channel as well when the time comes. But the time now is for a time lapse. And so folks, it's time lapse time. All right, folks, today's time lapse is very productive, and I'm very happy to say that I actually managed to accomplish quite a few of the things that, you know, quietly in the back of my mind, I was hoping to accomplish, which is always a good feeling. First order of business is to work a little bit on our little uh, enclosure over here, and I'm actually going to uh, get the name down right away as well. I got some great name suggestions in the comments of the previous episode. 
And the one I'm going to be going with is actually Pygmy Pier. And the reason for that is because it ties in nicely to Elite Zoo North completely uh, unintentionally at first. I wasn't expecting it, but you know what? In roughly the same geographical like corner of the zoo, we have a similar sort of treatment as the uh, as tape here at Elite Zoo North. Uh, and so I couldn't help myself get that reference in there, get that alliteration in there as well. So Pygmy Pier, it shall be. And I'm kind of making the uh, signage look a little bit like you might see at a pier or at a dock. I was hoping to use the chains to make it look like it's a hanging sign. Uh, but unfortunately, the chains are way too clunky and chunky for uh, for what I was going for. Uh, but no, instead we have this wooden sign, Pygmy Pier. I'll put it in a couple of spots to make it sort of have a bit more visibility. And I also use the tiny little uh, hippo uh, as a sort of decorative element because I figured, you know, you're coming from the, you're potentially coming from the uh, hippo enclosure or you're going to the hippo enclosure. And both these hippos and those hippos that are outside the, uh, the you know, regular hippo enclosure, uh, they have the same pose, but they are of drastically different sizes. So I thought that was a funny kind of like cheeky way to reference the, 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 the size thing, I guess. Uh, so yeah, there you have it. That is a uh, pygmy pier for you. And uh, the next step is to actually clean up some of the work over here. I'm getting rid of these support um, structures that I put down. I felt like they're really not that, that you know, the, the, the base structure that comes with the uh, with the base game is, is good enough as far as path supports and the railings are concerned, um, especially as many of you raised some pretty good points with regards to, uh, you know, the best use of our resources, as it were. Uh, and I do think using the, the, the base game uh, pieces there makes sense. And they actually do look quite nice. Uh, instead, on the topic of, uh, you know, sort of resources and, and where they should go, I'm spending some time to decorate these underwater spaces. Again, it's not something I really did too much of previously. It only recently really has become an option ever since the uh, aquatic DLC. So I say recently, I, that's a, using that term relatively, of course. But... Uh, but I thought it'd be nice to, yeah, actually get some of the, the decorative elements down there. And we're actually going to do the same for the uh, hippos as well. Many of you have pointed out that we should decorate the space because especially if guests are able to walk through that tunnel, then it'd be nice to kind of make the space, uh, well, spruce the space up a little bit. Wholeheartedly agree. It was just a matter of time before we came back here. So I actually decided to terraform the uh, ground a bit more to make sure that the hippos are able to walk down the uh, little ramp to the left over here. Uh, with this terraforming, they are now able to do that. I will test it after the time lapse and... Uh, you'll see as well that they are able to use it, which is great. Hopefully, we'll actually see them use it. But beyond that as well, adding a bunch of these aquatic or subaquatic or whatever the right term would be, uh, bits of vegetation over here. Uh, and just trying to, like, yeah, break it up a little bit. There's some color variety we can get from uh, you know, between the uh, the eel grass and I forget what the other one, the, the, the one I'm using more of is called. Sorry. But uh, between that, the two types of grass uh, and some rocks... Uh, we are able to break up the ground a fair bit. My only concern with doing this, and I will touch on this a bit more after the time lapse as well, is that now that we have a space that has been decorated uh, underwater, the rest of this stretch that has not been decorated feels a lot more empty, at least to me. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. And maybe we do go around and decorate this entire underwater like river. I just wonder if that's like, again, the best use of resources. Uh, is that the ideal... Thing to spend our time on and, and, and whatnot. But anyway, this stuff to think about. I quite like though, but let's not talk about what we haven't done or are thinking about doing. Let's talk about what we have done over here. I quite like how this space ends up looking. I uh, will spend some time looking through the uh, glass on either side in either direction. And I feel like it's quite, uh, yeah, it's quite striking. I feel like underwater as well, just being underwater with that like tint that it brings across the space. I feel like it's quite striking as well. I, I'm, I'm quite pleased that we did in fact, yes, go in and, and spend some time to decorate these spaces which is part of the reason why I'm tempted to do more of it, but uh, I do just wonder. And again, as with everything else, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it as well. But you can see you're catching some glimpses right now, very quick glimpses, uh, but after the time lapse, we will spend some time looking at all the work we've done. It's something I'm doing more of lately, is is going back and, and taking a look at the spaces we've worked on after the time lapse a bit more closely. I just feel like it all zips by way too quickly during the time lapse itself, but uh, I'll let me know what you think about that as well. Uh, up over here as well, I felt like the surface needed to break up, and not just the surface, but the, uh, there's like, it's not like those pads just sit on the water. There's obviously something that's going on underneath the water as well. So it breaks up the entire volume as a whole. Uh, initially I put down those reeds as well, but I realized the underneath of those reeds looks very weird when they're just kind of like floating there. So I got rid of those, but I then decided I would add them to the, uh, 
pygmy hippo enclosure because they would actually, you know, be attached to the ground. They'd, they'd be a bit more fitting and, and appropriate, I think. Uh, but with that done, that is, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say both hippo enclosures done for now. I think so. I mean, again, nothing's ever really done, but you know what I mean by done. Next up over here, we are working on a small little chill space where, where, where guests can come, you know, grab a bite, grab a drink, sit down. Not just that, though, it is also going to be a bit of a, uh, I guess, transitional space or a, uh, you know, the right term over here, like an antechamber almost. It, it, it'll be it'll be a stopping point before another enclosure, basically. Uh, from this central kind of circular area, you're going to be able to take a, uh, well, from this view, you'd be headed off bottom left and uh, and you'd be in another enclosure. What that enclosure is, I'll talk about when we get there. But I do have some plans now, again, based on some of the comments I saw, based on some of the thoughts I saw shared, I do have some thoughts with regards to uh, what will go up over here. And so I wanted to create a space over here. Again, oh, you know what? I forgot to put down washrooms. I was going to put down washrooms, but then uh, but then it slipped my mind while I was actually putting some, some pieces down. So we got to get some washrooms in here. But uh, this would be a space where after you've been walking for quite some time, maybe you come through, you sit down at one of the picnic benches. Maybe I'll put down some regular benches as well. You kind of chill in the shade. Uh, again, grab a bite, grab a drink, maybe pick up a, a map or an adoption or something. And then you continue onwards to the next enclosure, which if things work the way I want them to, they will loop back up to the uh, central that kind of lion train station as well. And, uh, and we'll have some pretty interesting loops going on. Very excited for what's to come in this area. Very excited for, for these next handful of sessions. Um, in all seriousness, I've got, uh, I've got plans. I've got sort of direction in my head. Uh, and I can't wait to just kind of execute on all of them. We've, we've got that pace going as well now, which is always nice when uh, it's been some time since we've added animals at Elitsu South. It's been some time since we've been at Elitsu South because of that DLC that uh, took us away. But it'll be nice to just, yeah, now make, make a bunch of progress uh, and a bunch of visible progress as well. We're going to see this entire area uh, transform. And that's very exciting for me. Uh, and I, I, I hope it is for you as well. Uh, getting some simple covers done for these stores right now. I have some plans, but they're not plans that I can execute on just quite yet. Uh, but I do have some plans that I'm gonna I'm gonna look into and, and see what I can do about uh, about some of these uh, some of these stores. I do have names for them already, actually. In fact, part of the driving force between putting those stores down is that I got some name suggestions that I really liked, and so rather than hemming and hawing about which stores to put down, I was like, all right, I, I know which stores I'm gonna be putting down, so I can take advantage of those names. Um, but I'll be putting those in after the time lapse. We'll talk about those afterwards. Uh, I also tried to build a bit of a like an extra shade uh, over top. I don't know, just doing something to to, to uh, I don't know. I guess to a degree, doing something to do something is uh, maybe what was going on over here, which I try to avoid. Um, but I felt like there there needed to be something here to break up the silhouette, to break up the space. I could be wrong. I might actually end up deleting everything that I do here, like now, uh, at this point, basically after those uh, those posts went up. But I just wasn't sure. I felt like like do we put down like what I might end up doing is putting down a bunch of um, decorative uh, stars, basically make it look like another one of our um, now become, becoming more commonly used. Uh, starry kind of areas, stargazing spots, or whatever you want to call it. Maybe, maybe that's what I'll end up doing. That was the original idea, but that wasn't. I didn't really like how the rope and all that stuff looked, so I went back to something else. I was like, let's just extend the shade in some fancy kind of like interesting way. But even now, as I'm looking at, it, I'm almost like, but why? Why do we do this? We did this just because. Is that why? It's nice to have the shade, yeah, for the guests. They might line up for longer, which is the actual reason to do this. But uh, but maybe there's something more interesting we can do in the area instead. But that is it for uh, this space. We're just going to duplicate that and attach it to the uh, other uh, other two stores. Uh, and you can see how like I like how it looks. You could even put like a name for the space down uh, at the at, at the um, pair that flanks the entrance. You can put down a name for this area. And uh, I mean, if you have any suggestions, feel free. Uh, I wasn't thinking about it originally, but now that I mentioned it, yeah, it'd be kind of nice, I think. But on the topic of names, we're actually going back to an old area for which I received a name suggestion a long, long time ago that I absolutely loved. Uh, a lot of my personal biases play into it, uh, which will I'll, I'll discuss after the, uh, the, the time lapse. But uh, for now, I can tell you that the name going in for the zebra and giraffe enclosure is Makao Ya Amani. That is Swahili, 
meaning the abode of peace. A rather beautiful name suggestion. I quite like it. Um, and uh, hopefully I'm not butchering the pronunciation too much. Uh, Macau Yaamani. I, I don't know if there are any like stresses or any of the syllables are more important than others. So please feel free to correct me and let me know in the comments down below. As always, I try to get things as right as possible. I try to learn as best as possible. And I just like to know in general as well for my own self. Uh, but yeah, quite a beautiful name for quite a beautiful space. I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of how this is all coming together, honestly. Uh, but folks, that is the time lapse. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. As always, leave a like, leave a comment, leave your opinions, your thoughts, your feedback, whatever it might be. But for now, we're headed back to regular speed. All right, folks, we are back from the time lapse. And I got to say, I am very pleased with that one. We managed to accomplish quite a bit. Um, now, because I didn't go in with a checklist uh, ahead of time, I don't have to feel bad about uh, saying I'm going to do 30 different things and only doing five, <laughs> which is a great strategy. I should apply it more often. But in, in all seriousness, jokes aside, we got a lot done there. Uh, I added a bit more uh, sort of decoration to the um, uh, to the Pygmy Hippo area. We've, of course, got a name for it now as well. Uh, did I, I got I to gotta double check because I'm... It's one of those words that throws me off. It's like, I know how to spell it, but at the same time, did I spell it right? Pygmy. I got that right, right? Pygmy. Yes. Again, it's just one of those words where it's like, I know how to spell this word, and yet it looks so strange when you look at it as like a, a collection of letters. It's just like, am I, you never, never a hundred percent certain after putting it down. Uh, but anyway, we've, we've got a name for this area. Uh, I'm sure I talked about, uh, I talked about that during the time lapse. So I will try and not repeat myself, but let us make the name official over here. We are now at, again, I'm going to, it's just like, dig me here, right? Like that's, that's correct, right? <laughs> double check with my double checking. Dig me. Big me here. Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, so there's that. We got this name in. I did a bit more uh, decorating in the space as well. It didn't need too much. I added a couple of benches. I was really hoping that I could do these corner benches across the board, but for some reason it works at certain spots and it doesn't at others. You can see how janky the angle is there. So instead, I've just done kind of like um, uh, you could say I bookended the spaces. I could maybe try and put one down over here as well. Nah, it doesn't want to fit. All right. Well. Got some benches down. I quite like the aquatic benches, actually. So I've kept them as they are without changing the colors or anything. They're really quite nice. Uh, you know, got the supports in by, de like, the default path supports. Uh, many of you pointed out, quite rightfully, I think that uh, custom building would not be the best use of resources. All sorts of resources. Time, uh, frames, you know, what have you. So uh, so we've, we've kept the uh, the the sort of path... Uh, path railing that comes with the path itself and then we've got the uh, supports as well i quite like how these supports look i do kind of wish i would use them more often actually uh, and then down over here many of you were uh, pointing out that i should really do some underwater decorating and so i've got a little bit over here i'm, I'm quite happy with how this looks um I, I feel pretty happy with just like the vibe we're getting over here this is a little weird but uh i, I like the vibe over here and you can see of course we applied a similar kind of an approach uh, over here I quite like this as well. My only thing is like, when you look off in the distance, it's like a whole vast line of nothingness. And it's sort of like, what's the best, best way to put this? Um, When there was nothing across the board, it felt empty. Yes, but it was like, all right, okay. But now that there is an area of have and an area of have not, let's say, the uh, the contrast is, the contrast makes the emptiness feel that much emptier. Uh, it's sort of like the, uh, the flip side of the, you can't have the good without the bad, right? Like it, it just sort of like, a, a, not trying to get deep and all philosophical over here, but like, just like in life in general, uh, the, the good times are, are good because the bad times exist or what have you, you know, how that, that line of thinking goes. It's, it's, it's like that, except as far as decor is concerned, when it was all empty, it was just like, okay, yeah, it's all empty. But now that there's good, the bad feels, feels that much, that much worse. Yeah, so I don't know if I want to actually go ahead and spread, like, it's just going to be so much, uh, so resource intensive as far as, like, frames are concerned, that, but also it's just, like, we really want to spend the time and, and decorate all that, and, and the other thing is, as that thing expands, as this, like, uh, vegetation expands, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run out of ways to, like, break it up, you know, uh, I'll have to think about it, I'll have to think about it, I do wish there were more aquatic, um, plants available in general, I just wish there were more options, uh, and that way it would naturally lend itself to some variety. But right now, you know, it's the same kind of plant and whatnot. Um, carrying it over multiple times. I mean, I, I do like how it looks is the problem. <laughs> that's the thing. It's like, that that's that's where the, the 
the challenge really lies is that I, I like how it all looks. Why is this not going? Going down? Come on. What are you? Why are you? Weird. It was like staying on the surface of the water. Like I like how it looks. In fact, like is an understatement. I quite love how this uh, this looks. And I'm really glad they added this. Uh, the, the 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 like uh, subaquatic uh, underwater vegetation or whatever you want to call it. But um, yeah, maybe maybe something like this where it feels like it comes to a natural conclusion. But still, it's a lot of empty space. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. I'll uh, I'll figure it out for myself as well. But I do quite like how this looks. I feel like it's uh. Yeah, it brings the space to life. I think y'all were absolutely right, and uh, and I knew you guys were right. The moment it was it, the the moment we like dug this tunnel, especially that we need some underwater uh, decoration. I just wasn't exactly sure about how I'd pull it off and if I'd pull it off well. But uh, I'm I'm pretty pleased with how it looks. I, I might make some tweaks here and there uh, down the line, but overall, pretty pleased with how it's come together. I quite like how the rocks like break stuff up, so it feels like the growths are the growths the uh, the, the vegetation is like yeah growing around the the rocks, and and, and there's like bit of uh, a dynamic feel to it like I quite like how this looks actually truth be told um I quite like how this looks and you get the shadows from the uh the trees and stuff as well uh breaking up the the water surface kind of uh one color vibe not one color but you know what I mean uh I feel like it's uh I feel like it's quite uh, it's quite nice um oh again yes the the having makes the not having stand out that much more right like if I look over here like this feels so much better than this. And do we really want to go in and uh, and do that for this entire thing? Oof, I don't know. Something to think about. Something to think about. Again, think about resource uh, management, right? But that's not all we did this time. We also added this little space over here. Uh, a cozy little corner to uh, uh, grab some like food and drink and info. Uh, partly inspired by what I said last session, but also partly inspired by some of the suggestions I already got in, uh, in the comments of last session with regards to... Um, names for these things. So why don't we go ahead and get some of these names in. The Pip Shot Water. Oh, right. I forgot to put down a... Really? These guys aren't getting power from... Wow. Just short. Just short. All right. Why don't we go ahead and move you then? Uh, are you the generator? Oh, you're the water. If we move this up this way... Like, where does it need to be? There? A little bit further for the ATMs? I feel like that's a reasonable spot for it to be in. Pop you down. Let's just see if it's actually um, still out in the open here. Yeah, it is. Okay. I was worried that it was in the enclosure. All right, let's go ahead and get this as a staff path, of course. Down four meter width. That angle snap on. And just... There you go. Cool. That just makes more sense than putting down another transformer, in my humble opinion, at least. Seems like we have all the coverage we need, so that's all good. All right, cool. Uh, so yeah, let's get some of those names in. We've got... Hold on, I made this official, right? I did indeed. Pygmy Pier, I remember double, double, double checking it. Over here, we have our Pip Shot Water. And this is going to be called the... Uh, whoa, whoa, spelled that wrong. Uh, mini Bar. All right, because Mini Hippos, Mini Bar. Love it, love it. Uh, I was tempted, because it says bar, I was tempted to do something else uh, as, like a, as, a, as a drinks like a different type of store. But Pip Shot Water is, I think, one of our most popular stores simply by virtue of it providing people with hydration. It's such a hot climate and everything. Uh, so I feel like Pip Shot Water is the way to go. And Mini Bar, it shall be. Over here, Missy Good 2. There's some funny back and forth about this in the comments, actually. But uh, Pig Me. There's that word again. Pig Me Pies. Uh, I quite like it. Um, again, Missy Good is like a sweets uh, store. I guess typically they sell donuts, but like, listen, whatever. Head cannon is is the real cannon, right? So pick me pies it is. Um, I believe the back and forth was along the lines of, uh, ooh, I don't know if I'd want to eat something called a pygmy pie. And that just made me like it even more. Because <laughs> it's just like, I could totally picture like a, like one of those, like as a child, I could totally picture like the ew response. But that just is what makes it so much more uh, fun. There's a lot of like, um, not none are coming to mind right now. I cannot remember a single one. But there are a lot of like, candies and chocolates whose naming convention is kind of like that like a ew that's nasty and that's what makes it better i don't think that was the original intent i think the alliteration was the original intent which intent sorry which i like as well but then there was the added layer so i hope y'all don't mind uh but I, I i do quite like the suggestion so i got pygmy pies up over here and then for our uh info center we have over here uh micro transactions well, spelled that wrong. So what's wrong with me today? Spell, spelling everything wrong, except for pygmy. Uh, micro 
microtransactions. There you go. Planet Zoo now officially has microtransactions. <laughs> now, please don't. Please don't. Please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, so I, I quite like the space. Hopefully you'll see some action. Uh, but what we've also built over here is not just a space, but a way to transition guests from in here to out of here to whatever might be over here. I got some excellent suggestions. Uh, duly noted those suggestions. And uh, we'll see what, what comes over here. But I don't know if that's what we're going to tackle next time. I think we have a different animal I'll be adding next time. The last thing to touch on from that time lapse is, of course, Finally, after a very, very long wait, this space has been named. I've been holding on to this name for months now, saying I'll come back here when we do a beauty pass. I felt like now today was the day to do it. Um, but I've had this name for a very long time. Makao Yaamani. I hope I'm saying that correctly. It means it's it's Swahili. I'm sure I I'm sure I said this during the time lapse, but it's where it, uh, it look, I'm already I'm already I'm already halfway through saying what it means, so pardon the repetition, but it's Swahili. Or uh, the abode of peace, which is beautiful. Macau Ya Amani. I said this on stream the other day when I was playing Crusader Kings 3, but I would love to just learn languages. Um, I was actually talking to, uh, to, 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 to the lady of the house, Miss Elite, the other day about how, like, there are so many languages out there to, like, it's so many of them sound so cool and sound so interesting and are so fascinating. I just, I'd love to like, just learn them. <laughs> uh, Swahili is one of them. And so it's just like, every time it comes up, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm, I'm partial to, uh, uh, to, to like Swahili suggestions when they do come up. Cause it's always been one of those languages since I was in, uh, elementary school, I was interested in learning Swahili and, uh, and now here we are. Uh, Makao Yaamani up over here as well. Again, I hope I'm not butchering that pronunciation. If I am, please feel free to correct me. Uh, again, as, uh, as an extension of the conversation about learning stuff, uh, I want to try and get these names as close to right as possible uh, with, uh, you know, with as much uh, practice as I can get on my own and using your comments to guide me. Uh, but yeah, so I'm very happy to actually have that name in there. Let's go ahead and make that official as well. If I could just remember for the life of me where I actually have the... Oh, right, down over here, of course. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this in. Uh, Macau Ya Amani. There you go. Bam. Quite like the uh, the stylization and stuff as well, like the all the the caps versus lowercase caps with like the floating. I'm 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 pleased with the the overall uh, visual uh, vibe over there. Um, but I do think that's everything we kind of did in the time lapse. I, I I know some of you might be wondering why am I doing a tour of everything that happened in the time lapse. Uh, I actually want your feedback on that. I personally feel as though sometimes the time lapse goes by too quickly and the end result can't actually be appreciated you kind of see it get put together but then the end result isn't actually seen um and so i feel like that kind of covers that base but let me know if i'm wrong there let me know if you'd rather something else and and we can totally do that uh the other thing i will say that i was hoping to accomplish during the time lapse as i hit play uh is i was really hoping to decorate this like tunnel area during that time lapse but uh honestly kind of ran out of time I'll, I'll be honest it was uh there was so much other stuff going on i uh, kind of ran out of time uh, i think one thing i'll need to do soon is reduce our guest count i mean y'all let me know i'm i'm fine with like i'm okay with this frame rate but if it bothers a lot of you then let me know i'm, I'm gonna start looking for solutions uh because definitely need to find some solutions asap what's the deal over here ah of course more babies have happened that's the deal over here maybe it's time we switch to liam well no <laughs> can't can't we can switch to liam and finn but That'll have its uh, limitations over to the Trade Center with you two. All right, come on. Close for me. There we go. And what else did I want to do? Right, there are a couple of things that need to be done still. I figured we'd do those during the... Look at the... Oh, there's a decent crowd over here. Look at that. There's people using this path and stuff. Great. Awesome. Uh, but yeah, this is stuff that I didn't do during the time lapse because I thought we could do over here while, while things are, are moving around as well. There were some other things that I wanted to tackle during the time lapse. Uh, well, now I want to go ahead and get the education boards. Yeah, because they also, you can now use, um, a little confused. Like, what, what am I supposed to be doing here? You can also use custom, um, visuals now for education boards. Can these be, I imagine, yeah, they can be video as well. Interesting. Interesting. I have okay, so I have ideas. I have I have thoughts on using billboards in some rather complex 
ways. However, my concern is that producing those pieces um, the way I want them to be produced. Like, I, I have I have a bit of a, sort of a, not an art direction. Well, I guess it would be art direction. I, I have I have a bit of a direction that I want to take these uh, billboards in. Not necessarily the educational ones, but billboards in general as a new tool. I'm very excited by them. My concern is that they will take a long time to make outside of the, uh, the game itself. Um, and my concern is uh, is just balancing that. Cause like okay, so the because what so what basically I what I need to manage is uh, how long an episode takes to make, obviously, um, because I have a timeline I want to release on schedule. Uh, I have to keep that in mind. I have to keep you know viabilities of episodes and stuff in mind as well. Again, just being purely transparent with all of y'all. Uh, but it it is stuff I want to explore, and so I'm still trying to figure out in my head how I want to go about exploring that element that aspect of like making these custom billboards and I have some really cool ideas and it's not it's not a matter of like uh, oh just like get others to to make the animations or or, or whatnot uh, it's not a matter of that it's that I, I have stuff I want to do um it's not it's not a lack of ideas it's a it's a, it's a time constraint and concern so I'm just trying to figure out I, I think I mentioned this before the billboards actually were uh available I mentioned like oh you know are are people interested in watching me make what goes into the billboard as a planet zoo episode um it would be a it would be like making a planet zoo episode except there would be very little playing of planet zoo in that episode you know what i mean i i don't know i don't know how people would feel about that so i'm throwing it out there again um it is still something i would like to explore it is still something that i really want to do maybe as like an example or something at least to show y'all what i mean uh but i do have to yes balance uh time constraints and all that kind of stuff especially time constraints um i will I, I i will always be transparent about that kind of stuff about like what's holding me back from certain things or what uh what i'm thinking or where i'm planning on taking things next uh and so i just thought i'd share that because i would like to know um what y'all think about that i don't know it's tough it's, it's a tough thing to to try and figure out too because like at the same time it might sound interesting at first but then when it actually starts happening it's like well that's not what i expected i don't really care for this right and that's a totally viable and valid opinion to have as well um obviously but uh but that's kind of like the kind of stuff that i always try to preemptively guess at i'm one of those people that like likes to run a thousand scenarios through my mind before i execute on something and that can be problematic at times <sighs> I try not to do that. I try to minimize that, but, uh, but with something like something like this, uh, there's a lot, lot, lot of moving parts to consider. Let's go ahead and cool the space off. I feel like guests are very unhappy about this. Hopefully, the hippos themselves aren't going to mind, but uh, we should be fine. All right, cool. And then hopefully we're gonna get guests over here as well, coming through from. Uh, yeah. Okay. Good. We are getting guests over here. I'm hoping some of them will actually sit down as well. Go ahead and get uh, this plaza over here cleaned up. Call the keeper. Uh, I should probably get some cooling down here. Where are we? Habitat. Cooler. Copy down over here. Hopefully you'll be... Be Of course, because I didn't duplicate this. Let's go with 25. I feel like 25 is, is the right balance. Let's go ahead and duplicate you. Copy down over here. Go ahead and duplicate you again. Again, you have to duplicate, you have to duplicate them multiple times, because otherwise it doesn't actually carry over the settings. Uh, you'll recall my ramble from a couple of, uh, well, many sessions ago now. It is wild how time has flown. It is wild to think we're so close to episode 100. Again, I get this question a lot in the comments, and I want to reiterate. Episode 100 is not the end of Elite Zoo South. Um, I, I get this question a lot in the comments. It's like, even in, even in episodes where I have said, Hey, heads up. We're going beyond 100 episodes. I, 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 I see it in the comments. It's like, mm. <laughs> I mentioned it because there's still so many animals to add and uh, I'd like to try and add them all if possible all right, there we go. that's all the cooling done now on the topic of animals though let's uh, let's maybe spend some time with some of the animals that we haven't spent some time with in a long time uh, some of y'all have pointed out that I might need a management session sometime soon and I think you might be right that'll be a great time to spend some time with the animals as well but there's a lot of stuff going on that has uh, especially with the crash uh, that happened, I guess, two sessions ago now. There's definitely a lot of stuff that has, um, that I'm a little thrown off on with regards to, uh, 
like I think the koalas need a breeding pair. Uh, we just sent a llama. He is running from. Is it the escaped animal? Where did you escape from? <laughs> and why is nobody running over here? About a hundred. What's going on? What is going on with this game? Do I just lack the key? I added like one more animal. I, okay, I guess I added two more animals. Alright, fine. You know, fine, fine. Maybe that's what's wrong with the game. Me. <laughs> I'm what's wrong with the game. Let's go ahead and add a couple more staff over here. Let's get a couple of keepers. Pop you down there. Pop you down here. Yeah, sure. Get all you guys added here. Let's go ahead and pause for a second here. While I make sure they are paid appropriately. Oh, so, come on. Oh. Oh, you're still happy? There we go. And there we go. Go ahead and assign Africa West. I'm pretty sure this all is. Africa West, Africa West, and Africa West. I should also get a bunch more... Um, a bunch more... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, vendors, too. Probably. Soon. We'll do that soon. Uh, but yeah, so as I was saying, like I, I just sent a, a llama to to uh, the trade center to prevent inbreeding because again they they bond for for life, right? So let's go ahead and get you back out. There's a lot of little stuff going on that I, I definitely need to tackle. Uh, Rafi, send you to you. back to Llama Lane. Nice to have uh, more and more of our enclosures named. It's all getting kind of like just just tying up loose ends. You know, it feels good. But yeah, it's been forever since we spent time with the kangaroos. Like I wouldn't be surprised if I turned. Uh, if I, if I rolled up on one of these enclosures and it was completely empty because I, I forgot to, like, refill it or something, you know, like, I, I wouldn't put it... Like, it's it's been that, uh... It's, it's been that wild lately, I would say, with regards to just engaging in new stuff, which I don't mind. I do not mind that at all, but uh, but it is nice to, yeah, come back from time to time and just spend some time with some of the old uh, boys and girls of the uh, of the zoo. Don't, don't sniff around here. Animals escaped. Yeah, okay, these guys are escaping... Consistently, so let's see what's going on over here. Something up over here. Were you able to what creep through this little gap over here? Oh, that gap is bigger than I thought. Yeah, let's go ahead and steal that right up. Didn't realize I could get down there. It also didn't show because the uh, the red exclamation mark was probably hidden behind. The terrain or something that's something that needs to change that those those warning symbols need to be sort of from like a depth perspective so to speak top priority they need to come on top of everything else or almost everything else dingoes are having some fighting because of overcrowding let's go ahead and take a look at that quite a few older ones here jackson and sophia over the trade center, I need to do something about the um, about the dingoes. There's so many of them. Oh, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Ah, uh, it was my... Damn it! <laughs> Why do you do this to me? I was too slow on that. Way too slow on that. Ooh, what's this? We got we got decent crowds on these boats and stuff coming through, eh? I wonder if I shouldn't add another boat. Move a little bit faster. Cause it is it is quite the wait, and I wouldn't be surprised if all these guys are coming down here to get onto the to get into the line over here and they're just turning around because there's no option. Yeah, Riverboat 4 was full. It does look ace. It is amazing. They waited a bit longer, but I guess there's no place to queue, which is fair. I, I do want to see though to make sure that this crowd isn't because nobody's getting picked up. I want to make sure this crowd is a legitimate crowd before I uh Make any drastic changes over here. I wish I can't remember now, but I'm pretty sure you have to close to add new rides, right? To add new vehicles. Yeah, unfortunate. Guess that makes sense. But I think just having one more boat will do the trick because we have two stops, three boats, so one hypothetically at each stop and another one kind of doing the circuit. Is it gonna open? Is it gonna let people on? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. No, are you come on, man? Like, are you serious? How many times am I going to have to fiddle with this thing? I'm, I'm so tired of fiddling with these things. 
I've, I've got like 20 different kinds of suggestions from 30 different people. I don't, don't know any, don't know anymore. And let's actually, since we're making adjustments anyway, why don't we go ahead and pause, close you, make it three vehicles, open you up. Everyone gets pushed to the exit. Oh, fine. We'll see what that does. If that if that solves any problems, because there's the extra you know boat going around, that might do something for us, I guess. Um. All right, back to whoa, back to our dingoes over here. What are these guests doing? Yeah, I feel like they get like a decent uh, bit of attention from the uh, from the guests, you know. Oh my god, what a cutie! This is the problem with uh, with going back to some of these animals. <laughs> I just go, all right, you know what? The zoo can the zoo can wait. I'd make a I'd make a terrible zoo owner. <laughs> Not actually. I think I do it. I think I. I mean, if I if I had the qualifications, I mean, if I was an actual zoo owner, I would I would obviously take care of the animals I need taken care of, and then and then in my free time, I just hang out with all the. Uh, Dog and dog-like animals. This is so cute. How can you? How can you not though? I mean, look at this. Look at this adorable, adorable. Thing. Like, like, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. How cute is that? It's a little loaf of bread. Look at those. Oh my God! You're killing me here. You're so cute. You don't know how cute you are. Oh my God! My day is made. I should just. I should just. Oh, you became an adult, and you're still cute. I should just hang out with the dingoes more often. Oh, 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 oh yeah. What a cutie. Off, off he goes. And beautiful as well. It's like the lighting and stuff in this game. Dangerous animals escaped. Oh, we know about this one. Well, that's weird. Like a little uh, glitch over here, it looks like, instead. Not the usual. Uh, they've changed how this works, I guess. Now this is more easily climbable. This 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 didn't used to be a problem. That's weird. That shouldn't count as an escape. It's a part of the habitat. That's very weird. Yeah, what? Look at all these balloons let loose because uh, people got scared by the escaped quote unquote gorilla. Oh my god, look at that. The by the balloons over here. Anyway, um, that's unfortunate. Running away from an animal that didn't actually escape. Good crowds, good crowds. Back up over here. Where are our others? Oh, come on. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I think I made it. What's wrong, actually? Social is not too too good. Space, I guess they're a little overcrowded. You know what? I, I think we'll, uh, I think we will do a, a management session sometime soon. Maybe, maybe after we add the next animal, we just spend some time to, to, to clean some of these issues up, because it is starting to get a little, uh, much, I think. Oh, this is a massive space. Like, how much bigger would I make it? Oh, the dingoes are still fighting, eh? All right, one sec. Let's go ahead and get the, uh, giraffe enrichment item over here. Well, this is different, right? Or maybe, well, it's different for sure. And call it new. I'm not sure if it's new or not. Put you out over here. We'll spot for it. Oh. Not if it's gonna modify the train like that. That's okay. Uh, I want to add a couple sprinklers. Okay, what do we got going on over here? Animal has escaped. All right, we're gonna have to sort that out properly. In goes. Okay. And a few of you home. Oh, I guess because Finn just became an adult, right? That would be what tipped the balance back. We'll have to look at that. Uh, but no, for real though, the uh, the Nile monitor escapes are problematic. I thought I solved this last time, but I guess not. Then I thought I solved it five minutes ago, but I guess not. All right. Oh, oh, these reeds can't escape. You. Are you getting out of here? Over here. Okay. I know what's happening. I know what's happening. It's the 
It's not that they're actually escaping. It's just that the barrier is like this and they're able to like creep over. And that gets considered as an escape. Or they're like swimming and they're swimming under here and they're getting into the spot. They're getting like past this like line, so to speak. Fair enough. Let's do that. Put you over as well. You come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Two in there too. I think that does the trick. It was like a little bit over here as well, right? Where were they escaping over here? I gotta check. Oh yeah, you're a juvenile. Over here. Okay, let's go ahead and expand this a little bit then. I'll do a trick as well. Go back. Okay. Good there. We're not good here though. Kind of weird, but all right. Reads down. That should do the trick. There we go. That should solve the problem. All right. Hopefully we've uh, we've sealed up the Phantom of the Nile. Unless they actually start acting like ghosts and start phasing through some of the uh, the spaces. This is pretty cool, actually. We're, we're getting a handful of guests. It's not a lot of guests, but we're getting some guests. Oh, you know what I completely forgot to do? We got these education boards up, but we didn't actually get education speakers up. Go ahead and get uh, educational speakers. Let's get one over here, I think. Find to you the pygmy hippo. Honestly, I could just have this one thing. Probably cover this entire space. Probably a terrible idea though. Let's go ahead and put you down like that. And we'll go ahead and duplicate you. Put you down on this side as well. This guy will have a much smaller radius to prevent the overlap. Oh, we're actually pretty good. Yeah, we're actually pretty good. Sure. A bit of that. Good stuff. That should be good. And I wouldn't mind actually getting the... Uh, Ambient speaker as well. Pack you in down here. Right. And. Come on, game. Very tight, uh, tight corners over here. Down over here. And, oh, come on. There we go. And what should it be? Let's go with... Jungle rain is what I'm tempted by. Or jungle at night. Or jungle at night. Why not? Alright, looks like the escaped animal has unescaped. Good. <laughs> I was wondering if it was the Nile monitor again, or if it was the gorilla. I, I felt like it was probably the gorilla. What do we got over here? Some more progress on the hippos and the non-monitor. non, non is almost done. Almost. Good, and then we can get the uh, the pygmy hippos uh, researched as well. All right, fantastic. That is the other thing about spending time with the animals. It's just like, as the zoo gets bigger and bigger, so much other stuff, so many other responsibilities. Oh, look at that. So cute. All curled up. In between, very interesting. This is just, I don't even, I got no words. All right, what, who, who? This is getting very, are you serious, man? Well, this counts as well. They, they didn't mark it, you'll remember. It didn't mark this as, like, potential escape, but, uh. Chose me, I guess. We're fine. Wish guests would stop overreacting. How are the boats looking, though? A little busy. That one's only partly filled up. And comes through. Like, this is such an efficient, like, uh, connection. Like, I, I want this thing to work properly. 
because it really does cut cut travel times down rather significantly. But get this like silliness here. Look at like you're wasting valuable time there. <laughs> Hurry up! Doors open. There we go. All right, cool. Ah, just the one group gets in because again, it's set to any load. But, like, all right, I don't I don't blame you, game. That makes sense to me. The one you set to end. well, it's actually it's set to quarter load. Should I say half load instead? But then what if it starts getting stuck here? Well, let's see. Let's let's see. Let's see. Another seemingly quarter full boat comes through. Come on, come on. Is this just a bunch of kids? Where's your where's your where? Is that the parent? Is, is this one group here? Is this just a bunch of kids on their own? I feel like they're not supposed to be doing that. No, no, no. Okay, they're all together. They're all one group. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Now we've got more people coming through. But, like, it literally waits. Okay, so. Even though it says minimum rider load, I guess because we're going over the time. You know, whatever. Fine. I'm fine with that right now. I don't want to. I don't want to around with that any any further than I already have right now what do we have over here we got more important kind of issues to deal with which is uh, the fighting going on among the cassowaries over here go ahead and get up your zoopedia go so, of course the last one I check one to, okay, one male one female so we definitely got to empty this place out a little bit this is also what I mean by, I think I need a management session. A lot has been going on in some time. Move both of you to the Trade Center, yes. Just became adults, I guess, relatively recently. Alright, fair enough, fair enough, that's that done. And has been having a good time as well. Eating time. <laughs> the sounds they make, ooh. Losing lions here in quick succession. Atuanya has passed away. He's about to at least. Atuanya and who else was it? Oh, wait a minute. Kanke. All the bet for you. Llamas got overcrowding. About time. I was wondering about that. Oh my god. What is going on over here? Why do we have so many people over here? Where are you trying to get to? Where's the actual staff entrance to the space? Right. In some time. Go ahead and get... Uh, you, you. A few of you. Rehomed or released to the wild. Done. And done. We have a lot of llamas in here, so hopefully that uh, helps a little bit. The Baird's tape here, a little bit of overcrowding over here as well. Guessing their little baby became an adult. Yep. Go ahead and to the trade center with you. This is how the trade center gets so full so quickly. <laughs> this is a constant. What else is going on over here? Serious injury for Ryan. That's coming over already, so that'll be fine. Taken care of. All right. Pretty good, pretty good. I want to check actually one thing over here. If we go over to the hippos, are they down here? Are they hanging out in this general area? Where are my hippos at? There you are. Lays in about a little bit. You are able to... Yes, okay, excellent. Our adjustment over here worked as well. They're actually able to get in over here. That's good. That's good. My god. Oh, perfect timing. I'm so glad we were here for that. This is... Uh, 
This is quite nice. <laughs> Seeing them side by side. Oh, are you following them around? Is that what's going on? No, okay. You're your own independent hippo, or, or you're just pretending. Oh, into the water you go. You can actually get submerged in this? I did not think it was deep enough for them to be fully sub. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Fair enough. They're so- they're so cute. Oh, you can just- oh. You're not supposed to be that attracted to this little pond. I made this giant river for you. Go to the river. It's not even like it's not even lake size. It's a pond. I mean, uh, yeah, it's that's too. It's 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 what? Do you, it's a puddle compared to you. Come on, use the river that I painstakingly crafted for you. Where are the pygmy hippos up to? They're spending some time down here, I imagine. I imagine they can walk through this. I should maybe check to make sure. Camouflaged against the wall there. I completely missed them. Important alert requires attention. I'll take a look at them in just a second. And make sure they are able to, yes, walk through. They can't walk through the stones and stuff, the rocks and whatnot, but everything else we're good. You guys are not overlapping, that's a lie. Low welfare over here for the green iguanas. I assume they're overcrowded. Yep. Hopefully that does a trick. I think I think we'll be fine. Ah, of course not. We want to keep uh, Tesca Quattro. Go ahead to exhibit trading. We got so many. Again. You, buddy. Back in. Let's go ahead and get rid of Quattro instead. The trade center with you. Oh, what's that done? But yeah, the pygmy hippos. Where, where, why are you guys not going? Uh, just checking on the uh, the crowd with the uh, with the boats. I like to get a nice kind of shot of them walking among the vegetation down over here. I feel like last session they couldn't help but stay underwater, and this session they're just like, "No, nah, we're gonna stay above ground this time." Oh, there we go. Finally, that's right. Take a little dip. It's like slowly sinking to the bottom. I love I love when they like wiggle their feet on their way to the bottom of the water. What are you scared of all this vegetation? Just backing up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go waltzing through the come on. Frolic. <laughs> Oh, there we go. There we go. Beautiful. There we go. Can't imagine having all that rubbing up against your entire body. I like s somewhat slimy feel that these things have. Alright, good. They can navigate down over here with the supports and stuff as well. So that's that's also important to check and verify for us. All right, good. They're actually using this space still. I was worried they'd be, you know, hesitant or, or they wouldn't like it or, or what have you, but no, it looks like we're good. It looks like we're good. And on that note, folks, how about we call it a session? No uh, red alerts either, which is uh, which is a great note as well. I was worried I was going to, like, unhide the UI and I just have, like, 20 warnings, three animals fighting, four animals overcrowded, seven animals dead. Uh, though, actually, on the topic of dead animals, we will need to get a new lion. Over here at Simba Kiburi, we only have four females, no males. Uh, we could take a look at our 
uh, storage here. We have Zikoma and Jonas. Don't know if they are uh, valid mates, though. Zikomo, it'll be inbreeding, won't it? Pretty sure. Yeah, and Jonas as well. Yeah. So we're going to have to go looking for a new male uh, lion to get in. That'll be one of the first things we uh, we do next time, though. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this session. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. I'm pretty pleased with today's session. In fact, we managed to do a lot of... Uh, we got uh, we got things of, of different sizes done. Big things, little things, all things. Pretty pleased with, uh, with the session, actually. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Next time, we will be adding a new animal. Very excited for this one because it's a fairly different type of enclosure, I think. It'll involve some... Well, I'm excited for it. Let's just say that. By the way, folks, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.